So it is Seahawks Day, and uh, my grandparents they have they have a thing they don't want to be vlogged, so they're they're, they're not going to be vlogged uh, at all. But uh, uh, size is the Seahawks are playing the Bills right are going to be playing the Bills in about maybe in about 30 minutes, and so I'm excited for that because they need they need a win to keep to really keep their playoff hopes alive and. Um, Right now the Packers are winning and the Packers are actually my favorite team and even though that I really do want them to win, I really kind of want them to lose because um, I want the second seed for the Packers. But, um, you know, and then the Redskins, they're winning, so if they win, so if they win today and the Hawks lose, then they're going to be tied with the Seahawks, so that's not good for, that's not good for us. Um, and then we need the 49ers to lose tonight, so... Man, a lot of scenarios for, for football. Sai is performing at the halftime show, so I'm going to be uh, vlogging that, uh, dancing to Gundam style. And I just want to know, just want to let everyone, I'm going to put it also in the comment below that I don't own the song. I'm not selling anything for the song. Um, all I'm doing is just vlogging me dancing to the song. So um, if YouTube, um, like, I don't know, if it, if it blocks me on this or gives me a strike, um, I just want to let you know, YouTube, that... Like I said, I'm 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 not selling the song. I'm not uh, you know promoting anything. I'm not promoting the song. All the uh, all the all the the songs uh, everything belongs to the company who made the song and also the artist who made the song. But I just want to d dance to the song and put it on YouTube. So just to let you know, YouTube, I'm not doing anything, Brad. Brad, I mean bad. All right. So what up, guys? It's uh, it's now Monday. And uh, this is actually this vlog right now. It's actually going on like uh, one more day. It's gonna be and just muting the TV so you guys can hear me. Um, so like this vlog is like gonna go. F I don't know like uh, uh, like right out to tomorrow. You know, like right out there. But anyway, um, the reason why the reason why it's. Uh, I've I've had I've had I'm can't get onto my second YouTube account, so I've got to uh, upload my Nerd Rage videos onto my uh, vlogging account. So my nerd until I can get back onto my second account, uh, my Nerd Rage or, uh, videos are going to be my Nerd Rage vlogs basically. So um, oh crap! Did I zoom in? Nope. I thought I thought I zoomed in. I thought I almost thought I zoomed in. Anyway. Um, so the Nerd Rage uh, videos are going to be the Nerd Rage vlogs now, so enough said on We that. are having some wind problems here. We're having wind problems. I don't know if you can tell. Like, um, this morning, like early this morning at 5 o'clock, I got a blizzard warning on my, f on my, I won't call it my phone because I, because it's not really a phone. It's just like a cell phone alarm clock, basically, because I don't use it to call anybody. But anyway, uh, it warned me of the blizzard of a blizzard that is coming into my area, and a blizzard is not coming into my area because that's just for the mountains. So that's stupid. It really does suck. I I was actually hoping for snow. About to get on the air on KJR. I'll let you guys listen in. Was the difference? I think Hasbeck was 28, or maybe he was at 27, or Wilson was at 24, 25. I mean, that's, that's not a big deal. That's, that's nothing. So I, I did this this morning, kind of updated the numbers, and I think you'll be, I think you'll be a little bit surprised with how this year's team compares to 2005, which we all would say is the best football team, obviously, in Seahawks history. In 2005, they averaged 28 points a game, which I think was number one in the league that year. And it kind of shows you a little bit how scoring has is, is, is fluctuated here in seven years because I think the Patriots are number one now and average about 36 or 37 points a game. But this year, they averaged 25. So you're looking at about a field goal difference. Field goal, now, listen, these numbers have been inflated based on the past two weeks. I understand that. But it, for the most part this year, it's been about a five-point difference. That's not huge, at least in my opinion. Maybe you disagree. Rushing the football, remember that? How good they were at running the football in 2005. They averaged 153.6 yards a game in 2005. 2012, oh, they've upped the ante. 161 yards a game. They average. I mean, think about that. And for, you know, the text that came in earlier. I mean, listen, I, I get the text. 
Green Bay's a tough place to play in the playoffs. Weather's awful. I understand. But this team is built for that. They're built for the snow. They're built for rainy, wet conditions. They don't fumble the ball, and they've got a beast, literally a beast, as a running back. Passing-wise, 2005, Matt Hasselbeck, great year. 216 yards he averaged that season per game. Wilson this year, 190. I could have extrapolated some of these numbers out, and it could have told you since, I think, about the Carolina game. He actually is up to about 225, 230 yards a game. So they've kind of opened up the offense a little bit more. But, but again, that's, that's pretty similar. That's pretty close. But that is definitely an advantage 2005. Defensive points in 05, they gave up 17 a game this year. They're giving up 15. About that. They're giving up 15 points a game this year. Rushing the ball in 2005 defensively, a little bit better. 94.4. Uh, this year, 106.3. Uh, defensively passing back in 2005, 224 yards a game. This year, 197. What's the point you're asking? You're like, Puck, I don't, I don't get what you're trying to get at. The point I'm trying to say is that that team was unbelievable. That team was 13-3. and three. That team played the Super Bowl. It's not much different than this year's team. It, it just really is. I mean, from a, from, from a stats point of view, it's not all that different. And when you look at them play, I think you can make this argument, and maybe it's sacrilegious to make this argument. Offensively, they may be, they may be a little bit more explosive in 2012 than they were in 2005. They were, they're not as efficient as they were under Hasselbeck and company. No way. That team was efficient as hell. But in terms of explosive plays, they didn't have a Russell Wilson in 2005. They didn't have a Sidney Rice. They didn't have a Golden Tate. Jeremy Stevens was awesome. So, I mean, that's a wash. I, I would take Stevens right now. Miller was, has been great this year. But from an explosive plays perspective, they are better than 2005. Defense is better. It's faster. It's younger. It's quicker. Numbers-wise, they're better than 2005. They're not so much a bend but don't break like they were in 2005. It's just something to kind of keep an eye on. Their road will be much tougher because they will have to do it on the road and they can't do it at home. But numbers-wise, a very similar team. I want to squeak in one last phone call. Uh, Mike's been holding patiently uh, span away. Mike, if I make it quick, you're the last phone call before I go for football. Uh, how you doing today, Jason? Mike, I'm doing well. It's a great oh, Monday. I wish I'm the Niners would have choked it away last night. It would have been a better oh, Monday. Don't but, bring that up. I'm pissed off about but, that. But it's still a good Monday. They're 9-5, yeah. and uh, they still have the opportunity to go 11-5 on the season, which is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, what you were just saying a minute ago, this Seahawks team is no different from the 2005 team, all right? This is a terrific, terrific that we have right here. But the one thing that I have a real big problem with is that nobody gives us credit. The last two games, we've gone over 50, and we've been criticized because we've, we've gone over, we've, basically we've been sho- shoving it down their throat. But here's the thing. Herman was once quoted, you play to win the game. It's not our fault we scored 50 points. It's the, uh, it's the opponent's defense that we scored 50 points. Mike, again, I said this earlier, don't worry about the national media. Don't worry about what they say. Because, listen, they they get a snippet or two of the Seahawks. They're not watching it for four full quarters. And, and, and when they praise you, don't get up on it. Don't get excited about it. When they don't praise you, don't get worried about it. Don't get mad about it. Who cares what Herb Edwards thinks? I could care less what a guy who's not coaching the NFL anymore thinks, who screams into the TV. <laughs> I mean, he's Stephen A. Smith, but not that outrageous. Is Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> well, there you go. I got on. I got on KJR, but I, I put in my opinion. I put in my opinion. So right now, I'm just watching uh, NFL 32. About to talk. They're about to talk to, about the Seahawks. So let's listen in real quick. The previous record holder, likely a guy by the let's name listen. of Eric Dickerson, and finally, though, we round out a rapid reaction with Russell Wilson and the Seahawks who blow out the Bills. Yeah, and there's a lot of being made about Pete Carroll and. Uh, fake punt when you're up and running up a score and things like that, but I think there's a really strong case for Pete Carroll as coach of the year when you think about what was done. They trade for Matt Flynn, they decide to pay him starter money, but yet they draft a kid who's under six feet tall in the third round, he decides to make him their starting quarterback, I think he's been the biggest difference for that football team. 
We look ahead to Monday night. Now, see, that's the best thing about, the, about that. Um, so I got on KJR. I, was t I talked to Jason Puck, and I put in a little uh, bit of opinion about, you know, the criticism that the uh, that the uh, that the Seahawks get. But uh, anyway, this right here will be on. This will be on a, on a separate vlog, all right? So I'm going to put this on a separate vlog, and I'm also going to put this on uh, today's vlog as well. This vlog has basically been about the Seahawks. This is, a, this is like a Seahawk vlog. Um, I forgot, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the Seahawks won 50 to 17 against the Bills yesterday. Or on Sunday, excuse me, because this is going to be uploaded on Tuesday, so which is today. So yeah, right, so good news for Seahawks fans. So, we clinch a playoff spot. We actually will clinch a playoff berth with a win this Sunday. Uh, ooh. No! 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 Not that one! Not that one! That one! That one! That's the, that's the game I'm gonna watch. That's the game that I can't wait to watch. Yeah. Anyway, so the Seahawks are gonna be clinching a playoff berth this Sunday, and, I, and all you Seahawks fans that watch this, you better be cheering your loudest. I'm gonna. I am might be going to the game. I hope I do. I really do. I really, 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 you know, I gotta take something out of Austin's book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start calling you infidels. I'm going to start calling you infidels, and I'm gonna say infidels, like Ahmed. So, uh, so from now on, you guys are infidels. All right, you guys are, you guys are infidels. So, don't argue with me. You're infidels. Uh, so, like I was saying, like Frank's hot sauce, like this. This is the stuff right here. This, this hot sauce is awesome. And trust me, it makes it, it makes it all awesome. All right, so good news for y'all Seahawks fans. Uh, Russell Wilson became the first player in NFL history to rush for three touchdowns and have a passing touchdown in one in the in the first half. So booyah, Seahawks making some freaking history. So guess what? The Seahawks also are the first team since 1950 to score 50 points in consecutive games. So suck on that. Are you fucking shitting?